show you a series of videos and screen captures that strongly indicate the presence of the binary star system. I'll begin by showing a few individual observations which I consider to be exceptional captures of the companion star. Whether you agree or have doubts about the presence of this heavenly body, these are observations which certainly provide support for the existence of the Nibiru Nemesis system. I am now going to show and explain a series of screen captures from Skycam observatories which are also indicating the presence of this binary star system. The first screen capture observation is from the Dalek Observatory in Vancouver on July 28th. What appears to be the Nibiru system is visible after sunrise as shown in this area. There appears to be about six or seven objects clustered in proximity to each other with Nemesis located off to the lower left of this system or to the one o'clock position to the sun. The Nibiru star system is believed to consist of three planets, Nibiru, Helion, and Arboda. The two larger planets in the system, Nibiru and Helion, are said to each have two moons. So this would be consistent with what is seen in this capture. This capture from the Mars Cam in California is showing a V-shaped formation located at the one o'clock position shortly after sunrise. The Nibiru system is said to be in a V-shaped formation similar to a winged globe, with Nibiru being the outermost planet followed by the remaining planets and moons spread out in a winged formation as it makes its approach. 
The following screen captures from the Savannah Skies Observatory in Australia probably provide the most comprehensive observation on the incoming system due to its location in the southern hemisphere where the system is most noticeable as it rises to the ecliptic. These captures were taken at various time intervals but as you can see not only is Nemesis coming into view, but Nibiru and the binary star complex are visible as indicated here. Nibiru is becoming more visible from these observations as I will show you here in just a bit. This capture from Australia is really interesting in that there are two distinct light sources happening here. The larger light source, which is our sun, is seen rising from more of a northeast position, while the smaller light source is seen rising from the southwest, which is where the system is believed to be approaching from. This capture from Gorge Creek, Australia is what I would have to say is indisputable proof that there is a binary star system approaching. This is showing two very distinct suns rising from the east with the binary sun rising first followed by our sun. In this capture from Madison, Mississippi, there is the presence of a huge halo around the sun shortly after midday. Sun halos are becoming more prevalent now as the system draws closer and begins to emit more light due to the influence of our sun. This capture from Hong Kong is showing Nemesis and some other objects rising prior to sunrise on July 28th with our sun located just below it. This capture from New York is a bit confusing in that there are two light sources present, one off to the southwest and the other off to the northeast. However, the top time frame is showing 1800 hours, whereas the horizontal frame is showing early morning. However, both are showing two very distinct light sources. As we jump ahead to August 2nd, this capture from East Texas is showing the Nibiru system located at the 1 o'clock position. As you can see, this system of planets is shaped like a comet, with a distinct head and tail. As is always the case, it is very difficult to determine the exact location and velocity of this system relative to the observation because it is moving about so quickly. This capture from Pennsylvania caught my eye as it is showing the same two sun scenario that was captured by the camera that was mounted to the outside of the Airbus glider back in May in the video that I highlighted at the beginning of this presentation. 
Again, this is showing another perfectly round object slightly off to the right of our sun, which is only visible due to the sun's rays casting its light upon the object. I went back to check the Savannah Skies Observatory camera on August 2nd, and to my surprise, lo and behold, there is the presence of a second sun located to the right of our sun. This is becoming more evident each passing day. The capture from the SHSU Observatory on August the 3rd, much like the Savannah Skies Observatory, is showing the presence of Nibiru. If you look near the center of the frame, you will see the red planet and its accompanying system of planets in unison as they move across our solar system. What is most noticeable about this capture is that Nibiru disappears behind the cloud as it passes over it, which makes this capture even more believable. Here is another capture of two light sources from Australia on August the 3rd. Again, the one source is originating from the northeast and the other from the southeast or more from a southern direction two distinct and separate light sources seen once again. This capture was taken this evening from the Savannah Skies Observatory. Once again, the cameras in the Southern Hemisphere are providing the best evidence to date of what is approaching you can clearly see the presence of a second sun in this capture. And if you look off to the left center of frame, you will notice the cluster of planets in a V-shaped formation, which is now appearing on a few of these sky cameras. Finally, I would like to show a sunrise capture from Veracruz, Mexico which shows two suns moving above the horizon on July 31st. You will first notice the second sun rising followed by our own sun in succession. This is yet another incredible capture which indicates the presence of a binary star. Okay, so this is just a sample of the images and video captures of this incoming system. I hope this provides you with a better perspective of what is developing here. The system does appear to be moving more rapidly now. The key to remember is as the system rises above the ecliptic, it will begin to make its approach towards us, which means its visibility will become more prevalent to those of us who reside in the northern hemisphere. I will try to keep you updated on this as much as 